Hello, my name is Matt Perland, I'm from EnglishBanana.com. Uh, today I want to show you um, some new materials which we can use to teach or to learn about connected speech in English. Uh, it's something I'm really passionate about and I really want to find an easy way to teach this because there's a lot of things which are quite easy to do in this method. So um, hopefully you can download the materials and have a try. The aim is that you can do it uh, yourself. You could do it if you're a student, you could do it on your own um, practice, on your own really, without a teacher, maybe get a teacher to check. But uh, the aim is that you could learn to do this on your own. So it's really aimed at self-study, this kind of material. Anyway, let me show you what... Okay, there's a few things we need to have really when we get st uh, to get started. Print off the instructions, that's this one, this page. And also you need to print uh, two pages back to back, like this, back to back. So your printer is probably different from mine. So you need to print um, these two pages on the same piece of paper basically. Then you're also going to need a pen, some scissors, and it's optional if you want to have a glass of water to drink. Of course that's optional. So, um, let's get started. First of all we need to fold uh, this page in half. So this is the front page, uh, folded it in half. And the next thing to do is if you see the, the dotted lines that go down the page, you have to cut those, cut along the dotted lines. So let's do that now. Okay, so now this paper's all cut up into bits, as you can see. Um, the they're all sort of flaps, they can open and close. So it's something like that. Uh, something quite unusual, but you'll see why we've got the flaps like that in a minute. Okay, and basically we're working through each stage. There are eight, eight different steps or stages, and we're going to work through each one slowly, each one. Uh, and what happens is you do the work uh, and then turn over the, the flap, lift the flap, and then you see the answer underneath. So you can check your work and you get feedback straight away by comparing your work with the answer. Um, this work is all about stress syllables, that means we stress some syllables, reduce, which means we say some syllables more quietly, and merge, which means to join together, to connect uh, syllables. So, as you know, in English we don't say every word separately, we do join them together. But how do we do that? Uh, well, that's how that's what we can practice with this page, with this series. Uh, most important thing is at the top. Don't forget to sound out individual syllables and the sentence at each stage. So say it out loud. Uh, so the first step in this paper is uh, this is an easy level sentence, so it shouldn't be too too hard for us. Read the sentence out loud and underline the content words. So, uh, I will read it out loud. I'm going to the shop. I'm going to the shop. I'm going to the shop. So hopefully my pronunciation is okay. Um, I'm a native speaker of English. But uh, read it out loud and then follow the instructions. Underline the content words. And when you've done that, so let's uh, let's do that here. Uh, content words is going to be the main verb here and the noun shop. So going to the shop, these words will have the stress in them. So then we just turn over this flap and we can see underneath the answer. Yes, it matches my answer. You can compare your answer with what is printed here. So that's why we've got the flaps. Yeah, so you can see that. And then on the left side, on the left hand side are the teaching points. So 
we can learn why it's like that. Going is a main verb. Yeah, shop is a noun. So we've done one step. And I, I will just give you some advice. Try to follow each step uh, separately, step by step. Don't try to look at all of all of this on its own because it won't, you know, maybe won't mean very much. Try to do it uh, in a systematic way. So we're just going to look at a couple more, just for example. So step two is write the sentence split into syllables. Write the number of syllables in the box. And this arrow just means, at the end, means turn over, turn over, lift the flap, or turn it over. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so it's so important to break down the sentence into syllables. Here we can see, um, I'm going to the shop. Yeah, it's six syllables. And so we can check this now if we turn over. Let's check here. So the answer is it matches our answer. I'm going to the shop. Of course, we don't say it like that, but you can say it out loud. Practice it out loud, six syllables. And then on the left side, we get some information. So uh, about going, how we break the word. For example, we break between the main verb and the suffix. Yeah, I am is pronounced as one syllable. Some students like to say I am. They, they just change the contraction back to the full form. But it's one syllable. I'm, I'm going to the shop. Six syllables, okay. Next job is number three, mark stressed syllables above. So now we can use uh, the printed text and we just have to mark the stresses. So I'm going to do that now. So we could put go to the shop. Yeah, I'm going to the shop. Two stresses here. So um, let's check that. Yeah, so we can see that we've checked the answer. And you can see it's systematic learning. Go is stressed and shop is stressed. We learn about go is stressed because it's a main verb. Uh, ing is never stressed. So it's information about pronunciation. Shop is a one syllable noun. So the whole word, whole word is stressed, shop, okay? Yeah, and step four, write the stressed vowel sounds above using the clear alphabet. So if you're not familiar with the clear alphabet, you can uh, download the clear alphabet dictionary. Just search for that online. So we put write the sounds, the stressed sounds, the vowel sounds. So we say O, 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 and O. These are the most important sounds in the sentence, the stressed vowel sounds. Yeah, O, O. I'm going to the shop. I'm going to the shop. They should be stronger, more uh, louder than the other syllables. I'm going to the shop. O, O. And we really get a lot of information about um, the meaning of the sentence from the stressed vowel sounds. We sort of we're listening for them subconsciously. Um, number four, we're just going to do one more step together and then I'll leave it up to you. Write the stress. So let's check this. And we can see, yes, we've got O, R. Oh. So every time, <coughs> every time we get, you're getting feedback for your work. And of course, if you're not sure about something, <coughs> if you get stuck, um, you can check anyway, it doesn't matter. But try not to run ahead, try not to go ahead without understanding each step. And then we learn information. The O is a diphthong sound. O 
is a short vowel and the stress pattern it's that yeah da 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 I'm going to the shop I'm going to the shop <coughs> I'm going to the shop where are you going I'm going to the shop go should be stressed o oh, should be loud shop oh the stressed vowel sounds are most important. So then you can look at step five, step six, seven, and eight. Think about reduction, how to reduce syllables, and also merge, how to connect syllables, and how we join them together. So lots of things for you to do there. I'd love to get your feedback on this. It's a new project for me. So if you find uh, something if you find it useful, please let me know. If you find something I can improve, please let me know. Don't worry, I'm happy to listen to any uh, criticisms or if you find any mistakes. But hopefully there aren't any mistakes here. Yeah, so I wanted to show you this because it's something different. Um, the basic point is we're working step by step, turning over the, the tabs at each stage, checking our answers and you can do this as self-study or with a teacher so you know you might do it in the class and the other point is if you go back to the front take away the original sentence you could do this method with any sentence so um, practice with any sentence or phrase uh, follow the same steps and you should get the same result. Um, natural sounding English, the way... Uh... So that's all for now with this video. And the only thing I can say is, well, I'm going to the shop. <laughs>